That's why we are giving a checkup call to let you know about this problem, okay? So wait, what's wrong with my computer now? Your computer is downloading some error and warning infections in your system, okay? And these are infecting your computer operating system as well as the software. Some of the software is totally corrupted. That's why we are giving a checkup call from Windows, okay? And so whenever you're going online, these are getting downloaded into your computer, okay? And so to show you those errors and warnings in your computer, can you turn on your computer, sir? Yeah. Actually, I'm sitting on my system now. Okay. Okay. So, is the system is fully turned on? Um, now, what company did you say you were from? We are from Windows. Okay? Because in your computer, you're using one of the Windows operating system. Uh, that is one of the registered and original version, right? That's why we are giving a checkup call from Windows, okay? You do realize Windows is not a corporation. I'm sorry? You do realize Windows is not a corporation. So we are calling you from Windows, okay? To the service center of Windows, okay? And we deal with all the Windows operating system. That's why we are giving you a call, okay, sir? Okay. So, so what antivirus are you trying to sell me? No, 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 we are not selling an antivirus. I'm not talking about the virus. These are the hacker infections I'm talking about, okay? If you have any protections or antivirus installed in a computer, your protections or antivirus cannot detect those errors and warnings because your protections can detect a virus, not the online infections. These are the hacker infections, okay? That's why we are giving you a checkup call to let you know about this problem, okay? And if you can turn on your computer, I will be able to show you the errors and warnings that are there in your computer and how much corruption has been done to your computer, okay? Oh, by all means, show me. So it is totally an offline checkup, okay? No need to go to online. And I will give you a few steps over the phone verbally and you just have to follow it down, okay? And then only I will be able to show you those errors and warnings where are they located in a computer. Uh, these are the hidden infections, okay, sir? Alright? Oh, no problem. Okay. So, at the extreme left hand bottom corner of your computer screen, can you see a start or a Windows 4 flag logo button there? Yep. Okay, just give a single left click to it. Uh-huh. And after giving a left click, you will see two panels have been there, left hand side panel and right hand side panel, okay? In the right hand side panel, can you see any option called computer or my computer there? Absolutely. Okay, just give a single right click to it. Uh-huh. And after giving a right click, uh, let me know what are the options you see, sir? Uh, manage properties. Okay. 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 Just give a single left click to manage, okay? Alrighty. Okay. And wait for a couple of seconds, you'll get to see a page up there. So are you the main user and the authorized owner of this computer? Absolutely. But why would I have to wait a couple of seconds? <laughs> so because the page is loading, okay? It's taking time because the computer is infected with those infections. That's why while working in a computer, you might feel your computer is performance is something lower. When your speed of the computer is gone slow day by day. You might feel. Because of these errors and warnings, you are receiving this problem, okay? So uh, as any page came up right now, like computer management page? Absolutely. Okay, and just below the computer management page in the left hand side panel, can you see an option called event viewer? Yep. Okay, just give a two times fast double left click on event viewer, like tap, 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 okay? No problem. Okay, and just below event viewer in the left hand side panel, read me out the options, sir. Yep. Yeah. Uh, just a second. Okay. Are you there? I'm here. Um, okay. I appear to be lost. What am I looking for now? Okay. So, right now, just tell me, have you given a two times fast double left click on event viewer? Event viewer. 
Yeah, in the left hand side time also you will get to see when we were. Alrighty. Okay, have you given a two left clicks, two fast left clicks? It's open. Okay, and just below even we were in the left hand side panel, read me out the options below that. Uh, event viewer, local, custom view, windows, logs, applications, and okay. services. Okay. Uh, again, give a two times fast double left click on custom views. Uh huh. Like tap, 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 tap. Okay. And just below custom views, can you see administrative events? Absolutely. Okay. Again, give a two times fast double left click on administrative events. Uh huh. And now in the middle of the page, can you see a list of information that has popped up with some errors and warnings here? Yeah, I can. Yeah, these are the errors and warnings I'm talking about, okay? And these are corrupting your system day by day. So can you give me a rough count of how many errors and warnings you see there? The event viewer logs any miscellaneous information, not necessarily actual errors. I'm sorry? Nothing that the event uh, viewer logs is actually important to the system. I'm sorry? Uh, 700 or so. Is there some warning? 700 events. Hello? Yeah, so how many errors and warnings do you, can you give me a rough count of how many errors and warnings? Oh, it says 700 events. Okay, okay. So do you have any idea what are these errors and warnings and how to take them into a computer? Absolutely. Yeah? The system logs any information and any time I right click or every time I cancel, it pops an, inf uh, an information into the viewer. Before I was talking about this type of errors and warning message, so just listen carefully. Don't try to click on those errors and warning message. All right? Okay. You said don't click on them. Why not? Yeah. Yeah, because if you click on those errors and warnings, it will automatically multiply on your computer. So they they wouldn't just tell me what the warning was about. Sorry. If I double click them, wouldn't they just tell me what the pro the warning was? Yeah, so I'm I'm telling you that uh, do not try to click on those errors and warnings. Because if you click on those errors and warnings, it's still multiplying on your computer. The only thing that would multiply would be a virus, and that would do it by itself. These are not any virus problems. These are very deadly and dangerous than the viruses. It's an online hacker infection. If I'm not online, how is an online hacker accessing me? So actually, uh, these errors and warnings are generated by some hackers. They try to access your computer for the activities. And uh, that's why they generate this errors and warning message and spread out this errors and warnings through the internet gateway. As a result, whenever you're going online, that point of time, this error message is entered on your computer. So, uh, I believe you want to save your computer. You want to rectify this problem, right? Oh, absolutely. All right, so for the rectify this problem, once again, I will connect your computer to the Windows Key 11 3 technician. And then our technician will drag out each and every errors and warnings from your computer. Also, they will block some an internet gateway from where this error message are enter on your computer. And uh -huh. as your most, yeah, and as your most of the application software already has been corrupted, so the Windows technician will once again upgrade your operating system of this computer. And when the initial work will be get over, after 15 minutes or 20 minutes later, once again our technician will call back you. And then just for the security registration as well as for work of the technician, and it also includes all upgrades on your operating system, there should be a one-time nominal charge. So are you okay with that? I thought you weren't charging me for anything. Sorry? I thought you were not charging me for anything. Why? You just said you weren't going to charge me for anything. 
Yeah, for the security registration as well as the work of the technician, that should be a one-time charge. Okay. Hello. Hello. Yeah, and uh, right now I will give you the rough range because it totally depends upon number of problems. So the cost will be between seventy dollars less hundred and thirty dollars between that range. All right. Seventy dollars, I could buy myself a brand new copy of Windows. You will get this uh, brand new one computer by seventy dollars. Hello. Hello. Yeah, you can buy the uh, brand new computer by seventy dollars, right? I can buy, I buy a whole new copy of my Windows operating system for that. Yeah, you can buy the Windows operating system by seventy dollars. But when you once again you will connect the internet, you will use the internet on your new operating system. Also, your new computer will be impacted by this same problem. The main thing is that you need to block the main internet gateway from where this error message enter on your computer. What happens if I've never been on the internet with my system? That will be better. And uh, but uh, you have to rectify this problem right now from this computer. If you want to uh, save this computer right now, because in future after uh, the uh, today or the after tomorrow, by this problem you may lose the whole operating system from your computer. I format my hard drives and reinstall Windows every two months anyway. <coughs> Sorry. So I format my hard drives and reinstall Windows every two months. Every two months? But you can see that every two months we have already formatted your computer, but there's a lots of errors and warnings. There's a 700. So how these errors and warnings are entered on your computer? Can you explain me, man? I don't know. People that are smarter than you that use... You think so that, uh, you think so that we are giving you this college uh, jokes or like that? Oh, absolutely, but it's not a joke if you make money. Oh, all right, uh, so you think so that uh, we have just called you to take the money, right? Absolutely. All right, so I'm telling you that in future, if uh, we get this kinds of person warnings once again, within two or three days, then also we will uh, cancel the registration under the Windows Service Center from you. So that in future you will not be able to use any Windows operating system. It will be a crime for you. Alright? There's no possible way that you could corrupt or cancel my registration number because you have no information about who I actually am uh, yeah. or the MAC yeah, address of my system. Yeah, so just listen. You don't have any idea of where from you get this call. Oh, I can only assume India. You think so this is from India? Possibly. All right. Okay. All right. So you can hang up this call, sir. Why would I do that? When you will, yeah. When you will uh, lose the registration, then there will be nothing to do us. Also, there will be nothing to do you. Who said my system had a registration number to begin with? Do you, uh, would you want to see that registration number on your computer? Why don't you tell me what my registration number is? All right, so your number, your uh, registration number is 888 dca 6 We want to check that number? Absolutely. How would I do that? Okay, so you just do one thing, just uh, close that computer management page. If you have the information of my system, I will believe who you say you are. All right, so you just open up the registration number. Uh-huh. So what can you, can you see that registration number? Uh, where would I see that registration number? All right, so I'm, uh, I will help you. So you just close that computer management page. Uh-huh. And just look at your keyboard at the left-hand side, bottom corner of your keyboard. Can you see the CTRL, control key? Absolutely. And just next to the control button, you can see the Windows 4 flag logo key, right? Yeah. You just press and hold that Windows key with your one finger. Uh-huh. And at the same time, press and hold the letter R. All right. And release both fingers from your keyboard. Okay. Just tell me what can you see in front of your screen. It appears to be a command prompt. 
Yeah, CMD, right? Uh-huh. Well, actually, on my system, it's R-U-N. Yeah, run. And on that run box, you can see the open rectangular box, right? Uh-huh. Just type over there in a lower case, CMD. Yeah. So that opens the command prompt. Yes, open up the command prompt. All right. And now you can see the cursor is blinking, red uh, to right. Apps, yeah. All right, so just type over there, A-S-S-O-C. And what is this going to do? Yeah, to see that registration number. A as an apple. Uh-huh. S as a Sam. Uh-huh. Again, S as a Sam. Yeah. O as an Oscar. Uh-huh. C as a Charlie. Uh-huh. Now press the enter from your keyboard. Alrighty. So what is all of this? Yeah, on bottom of the page you can see the long code bar. Uh-huh. It's a CLS ID, customer license ID is 888-ECA-6O. Well, that is the uh, beginning serial number to all Windows associated numbers. It's the uh, same number on uh, all of Windows operating system. Oh yeah, don't you know that? I think so that. I know that for a fact. SA888 DCA6O is the same, but uh, after that FC0A11CF8F0F. 00C04F D7 D062. That's a default address. I don't understand what that has to do with personally identifying me. Yeah, it's your registration number. So uh, if uh, this type of person warnings will once again, we will receive from your computer, then uh, our level 3 technician, as it's a matter of security. Uh huh. They may, yeah, they may also the, uh, like cancel your registration number. Uh huh. In the future, you will not be able to use any Windows operating system on your computer. That's why we are calling you to make you aware of this fact. It's an emergency call. Really? All right. So, if you don't want to fix this problem, there is nothing to do us as it's your problem. That's not our problem. So, it's our duty to make you aware of this fact. That's why we are called you. You do know that my phone number is listed on the National Do Not Call Registry, don't you? And also that the company that created Windows, Microsoft, does not make unsolicited phone calls. All right. Bye-bye. You people are thieves. Sorry? You people are thieves. What do you mean by that? You try to trick unsuspecting or untechnologically advanced people into giving you their money. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. How is that funny? Okay. This is such a waste of time, sir. But yet, you haven't hung up yet and moved on to your next attempted victim. Just because you're in a different country does not mean that eventually someone will come and find you and your call center and your whole little group. Uh, where from I'm calling you? Oh, probably from some routed number through a Google or VOIP SIP service. No, I'm calling you from out of the blue. Out of the blue, that's, that's absolutely yep. true. It's Pluto. Have you ever uh, searched the phrase on Google A M M Y S C A M? Sorry? It's uh, whenever someone tries to call you out of the blue, claiming to be from Microsoft, to get you to give up your money for reported errors that have nothing to do with your system or you, just to try to steal your money. For errors that oh, don't mean anything. Located at Moon. Do you know that? Do what now? Sorry? I didn't hear you, I'm sorry. Okay. Bye bye. 
What time is it, by the way? Sorry? Uh, do you have the time? Uh, it's uh, zero, 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 zero. Is that uh, global time, or...? That's because we, we can't get any sunlight at Pluto. So that's why there's no time. No time. <laughs> yep. We don't have any water. So. You don't have any uh, ethics either, I take it. No. No ethics. Okay. Where from are you? Oh, you're calling me, but you don't know where I live. I think you're from Art, right? <laughs> okay, so I think uh, it's a uh, wrong number, sir. Actually, uh, I think uh, I have called at uh, Mars. So it's uh, eventually you have called this, uh, the, our call has uh, received on Earth. So, sorry for that, sir. Oh, you were trying to get Jupiter. Oh, I'm sorry. That's, that's a couple planets down. <laughs> okay. All right. Are you still there, sir? Hello? Hello? Are you there? If you'd like to make a call, please hang up and dial again. This is the third time these people have tried to do this to me. They really want your money. I wonder how much the USD is where they are. To make a call, please hang up and try again. There we go. If you need help, hang up and then dial your operator. In the less technologically advanced, we'll fall for that. Well, there goes another 600 megabytes of my upload to YouTube like a waste.